Okay, here's an example of the Sargent Coupler's coupling. So I'm going to close up view and move the locomotive to the left here, it's tab. Make sure I'm good and focused. I think it's best it's going to be. Okay, so from the right hand side, you'll see a flat car roll in just a moment. Come in field view in a second. Okay, here we go. You can see they're both, that one's wide open. And on mate, and just give it a little touch. And you can see I have a, a good solid hold. To uncouple them, you use a magnet. Uh, this one, this tool is sold by Search Engineering, upside down there. Um, hover over the knuckle coupler, and that'll bring a small ball bearing inside of the coupler. Pull it up and allow the coupler knuckle to unlock. Um, they can be, I've noticed that you can have a knuckle coupler all the way closed as long as the other open coupler is lined up with it. It'll still find its way in there. Or you can choose to make sure everything is set all the way wide open. So you have a better chance of a little bit a little bit bigger gathering range in that case. Here we have a pair of cars with Sergeant Couplers. Uh, one is an Accurail uh, hopper car and the other is an Accurail box car. And the reason I wanted to show the particular two uh, was one of the things you have to be aware of when you're using uh, the Accurail, I'm sorry, the Sergeant uncoupling tool. It is a magnet and folks who are familiar with the Accurail hoppers, the, they are weighted with a piece of steel that uh, runs under uh, the slope plate here. So when you get into uncoupling range, you can sometimes be either have your tool attracted to the car. Okay, here we go. There we go. Get rid of it. Uh, or uh, vice versa, you can sometimes attract the car to the tool. So that can be sometimes problematic, especially if, there, if you reach in from a rather high angle where it's going to be more exposed to that magnet up here close to the top. If you reach it in a lower angle, at least with the hopper cars anyway, you're going to be further away from from that magnet or from the steel uh, down at the coupler's level. Same thing will occasionally happen with box cars uh, that have steel weights running the full length. On a couple of cars, I've taken that steel out and and shortened it a tad by about a quarter inch and recentered it so that it wouldn't be so close to the work area. It's just fun to watch, isn't it?